What's up, YouTube? My name's Chance. The channel is Chance Bishop Spriggs. I know it's been a couple weeks since we've done a mail day video, but we, we got some mail, and we're gonna have a Monday mail day finally for the first time in like two weeks. So let's take some stuff out of the way. Let's get right into the mail. All right, now that I, now that I've cleared some space, we can actually get into what we got. So first, I'm gonna get into that big box we had. And I believe this is coming from Hot Topic. We do have some more Funko products. I think last mail day we had a couple of Funko products. Got some more Hot Cash in here. Killing all the Hot Cash recently. I got a lot. Now let's throw that box away and move these to the side. And let's drop one on the ground. It's all right. Should be should be okay. All right, so let's open it up. See what? Oh boy, see what we got. And we have ourselves a Marvel one. It's gonna be a Hot Topic exclusive doppelganger. Yeet. Goodbye, cardboard. Doppelganger, one of these sp uh, Spider-Man clones. Doppelganger right there. Hot Topic exclusive. And we have our last one right here. Our second one. I think we only have one. There we, go. we only have one set of possible Funkos. Unless someone mailed Funkos in like a bubble mailer, which wouldn't turn out great. And we have ourselves another Funko. This is going to be the SpongeBob SquarePants Special Edition Funko. Um, so it's pops with the purpose. There we go. We have two Funko products during this mail day right there. Some nice Funkos. Some different Funkos. I think last time we got, what, Star, Star Wars, I think? Definitely got Star Wars last time, but here we have our first actual package. Uh, we have ourselves a Topps Inception Purple 71 of 150 Reese Hoskins. Super thick cardstock right there. Reese Hoskins for the PC. Uh, we have next we have a little lot right here. Little brick of cards. What did we get? I have a backlog of mail. So I'm kind of forgetting what a lot of the stuff is that I got. Alright. Uh, we have... Some old checklists from 2003. Okay. Uh, number one. The number one base card was Alex Rodriguez. Number three was Jimmy Rollins. Number 122 was Jimmy Moyer. Okay. All right, but we have ourselves a Reese Hoskins. Topps Heritage jersey card. We have ourselves a Reese Hoskins Major League Materials jersey card. We have ourselves an Andrew McCutcheon. Tops Heritage jersey card. Game used, of course. Another two more 2003 checklists. Alex Rodriguez, Tops Autographs. Ooh, what a good what good set that is right there. You got Andrew Jones, Austin Kearns, Mark Burley. It's a, it's a fun, fun set right there. Record breakers. All right, that's enough of that bit. We have an autograph of uh, Michael Audenbright. First Bowman Chrome. Audenbright, rookie auto. Or first Bowman auto, I should say. To be technical. Uh, next up. This one doesn't really fit in the packaging. Right, we have ourselves another... Another Reese Hoskins, okay. 
That's going to be the Bazooka back from, is this 2022? 2021. Alan and Ginter, Reese Hoskins, Bazooka back. And that's going to bring us to our final piece of mail for today's opening. This one's going to be in a thank you card. And this one's going to be, it's a little got a note in here. What does the note say? Ugh, take the card out. Opened a few uh, Walmart factory sets, and one was a Gold Star set. Thought you would like this parallel from Dad. P.S. Something to open for your mail day videos. So my dad sent me some mail for my card opening YouTube channel. Let's see what he got right here. It's going to be the painter's tape, because he's a responsible card shipper. Ships responsibly. But it's going to be the Reese Hoskins from the 2022 factory set, the gold, uh, the gold star parallel. 2022 Reese Hoskins. But uh, my dad, I don't really talk about stuff outside of opening cards. I may make some offhand comments about old stuff I've opened, but my dad was the one that got me into collecting sports cards. I got me my first hobby box was, uh, I, th I think it was 2007 Allen & Ginter. I pulled a Jeff Francoeur Mini Auto. Um, I still have that card. It's somewhere in my collection of cards. A Jeff Francoeur Mini uh, Allen & Ginter Auto from, I believe, 2007. But, yeah, my dad's the one that's got me into sports cards, and it's something we've always been able to bond over over the over the years, especially as I've gotten older. Um, but I want to say I love you, Dad. And uh, if you guys are new to the channel, that subscribe button. Do upload twice weekly content. And text on YouTube, though. Peace out. Rock on. Stay super classy. And have yourselves a great day.